Next, we will change the range and calibrate a Veritrac 56P pressure transmitter. The procedure will be very similar to that for changing the range and calibrating the 56DP differential pressure transmitter. This is the measuring head for the pressure transmitter. It limits the minimum span, maximum span, and maximum pressure rating. These are the range limits for measuring heads furnished for the 56 PM. The M stands for medium or middle ranges. The first number is the minimum and the second number is the maximum span for a given measuring head. Note the same 4 to 1 ratio between maximum and minimum span as was used for the 56 dp for differential pressure. The measuring head is supplied as a unit. It is stamped for the maximum span. This one is stamped 400. What is the minimum span for which this measuring head can be calibrated? It is 400 divided by 4, or 100 PSIG. The overrange pressure limit for a given measuring head is 1.5 times the upper range limits. The zero may be suppressed to 300% of the minimum span. The suppression plus the span must not exceed the maximum span. For example, the 0 to 100 slant 400 head could be calibrated for a range of 200 to 350 PSIG. It could not be calibrated for a range of 200 to 450 PSIG. We will change the range of this pressure transmitter to 0 to 60 PSIG. Inspection of the measuring head shows that it is stamped 100. This tells us that we may calibrate from a minimum of 0 to 25 to a maximum of 0 to 100 PSIG. It is suitable for the 0 to 60 PSIG range. Connect a pressure source to the process connection. This may be a regulated air or inert gas supply. Well, the pressure can be supplied by a test pump. Use a test gauge to read the input pressure. Also, install a pressure release valve between the regulating valve and the transmitter. With zero PSIG input to the measuring head, adjust the zero, to where the null meter shows no deflection with a selector at zero in the null section. Check that the release valve is closed. Then apply 60 PSIG. Using the span adjustment, And with the null meter set at 100, 
Adjust until the meter shows no deflection. Repeat the zero. And the span checks until both are correct. There is some interaction between the zero and span in the Veritrack transmitters. The transmitter is now calibrated for the range of 0 to 60 PSIG. Tag it accordingly. Now work exercise number 4 in your workbook. Now we will assume we have been directed to change the range of this same pressure transmitter to 100 to 300 PSIG. We will have to exchange the measuring head because the maximum span for this one is 100 PSIG. Which one shall we use? The 0 to 100 slant 400 PSIG1 is definitely suitable. But what about the 0 to 200 slant 800 PSIG? Could we use it? The 800 PSIG head could be used because the range of 100 to 300 PSIG is within the 200 PSIG minimum span limit and 300 pounds certainly would not overrange it. However, the 400 PSIG measuring head is a better selection, as it will be more sensitive. To replace the measuring head, first remove the amplifier using the same procedure as we did with the 56DP model. Remove the bolts that hold the amplifier housing to the amplifier housing brackets. After the bolts are removed, Twist the amplifier housing counterclockwise and remove it from the header tube. Take out the two bolts that hold the measuring head bracket to the amplifier housing brackets. Remove the measuring head assembly. Install the 400 PSIG measuring head assembly by fastening the two bolts. Then screw the amplifier housing onto the header tube. Until the distance between the housing and measuring head is 15 sixteenths of an inch. Replace the bolts that hold the amplifier housing to the housing brackets. Reinstall the amplifier and begin calibration for 100 to 300 PSIG. Apply 100 PSIG input through the process connection. With the transmitter zero adjustment, bring the null meter to zero deflection. The null selector is at zero percent. With the input at 300 PSIG and the null selector at 100, adjust the span until the meter is at the null position. Repeat the 
100 and 300 PSIG inputs and adjust the zero and span until calibration is correct. The field calibration for the pressure transmitter is almost identical to that for the flow transmitter. The process pressure simulator is normally more rugged and there is only one process connection. To make the field calibration, valve A is closed. The system is depressured by opening valve B. The calibrating pressure is then introduced through valve B. Make sure the calibrating fluid will not react with the process fluid in the instrument. Complete the calibration by manipulating regulator C. Don't forget that if the impulse line is liquid filled, a head correction may be needed. This will depend on the transmitter location. In the final analysis, the degree of accuracy of any calibration is dependent on the quality of the calibrating tools used. The Exxon Gray Box calibrator is entirely satisfactory for many installations. Some transmitter circuits have a precision resistor located near the transmitter. A digital voltmeter or a millivolt box connected across the resistor will give satisfactory readouts for zero and calibration purposes. There is no clear-cut calibrating procedure and selection of calibrating tools for all plants, nor even within a given plant. A judgment is made for each task. Now work exercise number five in your workbook.